It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu, right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And we've got action for you from the Champions League quarter-final. It's Real Madrid facing Milan. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian, will be in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Isco starts with Tony Kroos in the centre of midfield. And they line up tonight with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. because their history is really, really rich. Here's the Milan team. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And they kick off this Champions League quarter-final first leg. Chalanolu. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And a chance for them to nudge in front. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. And the goal that was scored, well worth another look, Lee. This is Gareth Bale. Immobile. Tremendous ball played through. And it's in from Gareth Bale. He makes a catch. Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. A bit more analysis as regards the goal. Andrio Zola. Gareth Bale. Javes Rodriguez! Joy for the Merengues, Real Madrid have scored. Well, they pushed and pushed, they tested and tested, and they got their reward. And well, we're going to see that again, and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant, good power on it, and then watch this headed goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Lucas Vasquez. And Lucas Vasquez, incisive pass. And this European night is over. Real Madrid have done it again. They set such high standards for themselves in European terms. The Merengues hold the advantage going into the second leg of this time. Well, going into a first leg, you take a lead before a ball is kicked. They've got that lead. Can they keep it in the second leg? Really delicately poised this one. Hello and welcome, not just the pressure of the occasion, but also the elements for the players to deal with tonight. A rainy evening at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary position as always by Lee Dixon. And Real Madrid are sitting in the box seat going into the second leg of this UEFA Champions League tie. It's Milan taking on Real Madrid. Yeah, thanks Derek, Real Madrid probably deserved that lead after the first leg. I thought they played really, really well, but if they concede an early goal, could be very, very interesting this game. This is the Milan starting 11. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 
in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. The Champions League quarter-final, second leg, commences. He's given it away. An authoritative challenge. And is it the moment for James Rodriguez? And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been insane. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Hit the target, tick, power, tick, goal, tick. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Giving it away. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Marco Asensio. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Opportunity it is. And the goal it is for Real Madrid. They are on a victory course. Well, let's see that strike again. First time is always very, very difficult to strike a ball. The timing has to be right, the technique has to be right, but above all, you have to concentrate on the ball as it's coming to you. You know you're not going to take a touch. Concentration is everything. Rafinha. Cutrone. And threading it forward. And in it goes! Well, so often than not, the post can be the goalie's friend. Not on this occasion. It's so close, but it's in. A chance to revisit the goal. Immobile now. This is James Rodriguez. Given away by the Rossoneri. Tremendous ball played through. And it's gone in! tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target you can't score unless you do and on this occasion he does and he scores slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored they're advancing here Real Madrid can they take advantage of the position they're in it's there for him Lucas Vasquez and this time it's in! Well, the keeper will be frustrated. He thought he'd saved it. He's so unlucky there. It's a good angle from him as well, but it's in the back of the net. A chance to revisit the goal. that the referee makes it 100 percent official words we have uttered on countless occasions in the past real madrid progress well you do have to say derek that we stern a test to follow but i really like watching this team they've progressed to the next round fully deserved what awaits them in the next round we wait and see but i'm excited about their future